Hi everyone and welcome back to Lori's Crafty Corner. Today's layout is for the Confessions of a Paper Addict design team and I'm going to be using the negatives from the star frame cut file. So it's this bunch of stars that you see here. This is the cut file from which I pulled all of those stars. So for one, from one cut file, I actually got two layouts out. And I'm gonna be using the Coco Vanilla Studios um, Joyful Collection. So, I got this idea because originally I wanted to use the star frame cut file both ways, you know, use the cut file and the negatives. But the picture that I wanted to document with that cut file, well, it was pr uh, pretty, it was pretty big. It was almost six by four and it was just going to be too busy for me. So what I did was I'm gonna use the negatives to decorate the background of this layout. And I chose this sort of minty green paper as my base. I used that um, striped paper, which I'm going to distress. I also tore it a bit just to add that pop of color because this collection is just gorgeous. It just has those pinks and greens and that mustardy gold color. <laughs> um, so here what I'm doing is I am looking for shimmers that match and I got this one. This one is called um, something about, it's almost a play on words for grapefruit, um, but I don't know what it is right now. <laughs> Anyways, I'll look it up and I'll write it down in the description box below. But on top of that, um, apart from that, I'm also going to be using egg yolking, egg noggin, sorry, egg noggin and um, glorious day, which is which are two yellows that I added there. So I sprayed them first and then I just used a brush to sort of like wash them up together. And now I'm splattering. Um, she packs a punch. Yes, it's a she packs a punch. It has nothing to do with grapefruit. But anyways, um, so once I add my mixed media to the background, I go ahead and start working on my stars. I start with the bigger stars and add craft foam beneath them to pop them up. And then I'm going to use the smaller ones to sort of like wedge in between each of the stars. Um, what I wanted to go for was like a star explosion sort of thing, sort of look. Um, but yeah, um, this layout came together really quickly in about 20 minutes because, you know, half the work, which was the stars were already cut out for me. And here I'm just sticking the stars down. I am layering them one on top of each other. I matted my picture with some white cardstock and after I start adding all the stars, I go through the collection, the Joyful collection, and look for um, stars. I go through the puffy stickers, I go through the thickers, stickers, chipboard stickers, through the entire collection looking for stars, and I'm just gonna add them into this layout. Um, I chose this, the title Very Merry Memories, because this memory is super, super cute. So I had taken off some some of the Christmas lights because they got damaged. They couldn't, um, they wouldn't turn on. So what I did was I took them down, but I hadn't like thrown them out just yet. And then one of those days, my kids were playing outside and they start saying, mommy, can we use the lights? And I'm like, okay, sure, you can use them. And I just thought that they were going to, I don't know, play jump rope or something with them. But they ended up adding those lights onto their little playground thingy. Um, if you've been following me for a while, we do have like those plastic daycare um, climb and slides thing in our home in our house not in but 
on our property <laughs> and they started to decorate and not just decorate them. My youngest was actually humming jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way while they were at, while they were decorating their playground. And I just had to stop. I was like, okay, stop, 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 stop. <laughs> Let me take a picture of this. Cause Hey, you know, scrapbookers. Um, I just had to document that. And so going back to the layout, I do keep um, some of the embellishments closer to the paper, uh, patterned paper, the striped patterned paper, because I do have a lot going on all around that picture. Again, as I mentioned, this is a star explosion sort of layout. So that's why I have lots of stars. So once I'm done with adding all the different stars and the journaling pieces and whatnot, I do splatter some more mixed media onto the background. That other color is Gosh Garnet. Actually, no, it's not Gosh, gosh Garnet. Gosh, garnet. It's um, it's a gold color. Yeah. <laughs> so here are the close-ups. I just love how this layout turned out. I love that I was able to use the cut file both ways. And I hope that you've watched that other layout come together in a previous process video. Anyways, I'll see you back soon with another process video. Thank you so much for joining me today.